We need to talk about stages 20 and 21, the last two stages of my Grand Tour. So let's start with stage 20, because it makes sense to do so. That was a time trial. It was 19 kilometers. Uh, it came out of Webmore, went up into Cheddar, anti-clockwise, uh, into Axbridge, uh, into Stone Allerton, and then back to Webmore. And the terrain was kind of undulating at the beginning uh, between Webmore and Cheddar, kind of steady rises, steady climbs, and then uh, a fairly sort of steady climb, like two, three percent, one of those kind of climbs that if you're a T-tier, um, not a climber, you can still put some good power out. Straight down a main road, dead flat, super fast, uh, loads of traffic kind of going past and then you take a left into Stone Allison where it just climbs and climbs and climbs and climbs all the way up to a windmill right the way on top of the hill and then a short little descent back into Wedmore and that was it. Um, 19k like I say and I, I rode it as hard and as fast as I possibly could um, because I had nothing to save myself for really other than the 70k that we did on stage 21. I was joined by John Burridge, I was joined by Jimmy Anderson, more of him in just a minute and a guy called Chris. Now Chris was an interesting character, he sort of happened to fall in with all of these rides uh, and I'm not really 100% sure he knew exactly what was going on with any of them. I think he came across what I was doing on Strava and sort of tagged along. I think he was pretty unaware of um, the fundraising that I was doing or anything else so um a bit of an odd kind of addition to the team that day anyway everybody rode their own uh, really enjoyable rides that day i like i say i gave it everything i had um and I, I can't even remember what the time was really i just had a really good uh, enjoyable time out there just kind of thrashing it I actually took a wrong turn on my own tt course uh, and rode a little bit more of an ascent than i needed to but it also gave me a little bit more descent but by that stage i'm past caring so i hadn't really taken any cameras with me on the ride i wanted to just enjoy it. It was going to be the only ride that I wasn't going to film any of the actual ride on. I wanted just to go out and have just that 45 minutes or whatever it was, just just enjoying it on my own, if I'm honest with you. I wanted just to ride my bike. You know, I'd ridden whatever it is, like 2,000 kilometers with other people, and I just wanted to spend a bit of time with just me, the bike, and the road thinking a little bit about what it is that I'd done. So uh, yeah, I didn't take any cameras, I didn't take any gels. The left one. Yeah, yeah it's easy to find actually. Oh, Chris, Jimmy, John, and me. One bottle, no camera, no gels. That's the weirdest thing, I haven't got any gels in here today. And I went and rode my bike and that was the end of it. And it was an enjoyable, kind of couple of hours out of the house without much bike riding. Then on to stage 21. So obviously stage 21 was the final stage of the whole thing. So if you'll allow me to indulge in a slightly longer montage of what we did, here's the video from the final stage. Good afternoon. Hiding in the shade. Hi, Danny, mate. Is this because your race was cancelled today? Yeah, it was.
thank you. <laughs> That's hilarious. You almost got taken out. I have to bunny hop that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. That's hilarious. So, forgive me for reading this out off of my phone. There's absolutely no way I'm going to remember all these names off the top of my head. Jonathan Bale, Chris Newman, Anna Scott, Jenny Campbell Ritchie, Jeff Newman, John Burridge, Josh Burridge, Sam Pierce, Sam Taverner, Lizzie Hall, James Farthing, Chris Price, Elizabeth Blake and the crew from My Crema, John Bevan, Mike Callahan, Matt Browning, Steve Foro, Robin Child, Matt Lythe. Now there are three more names on here that have asterisks next to them, not for the same reason that Lance Armstrong has an asterisk next to his name. All of those people are the absolute heroes who came and rode stages with me. I can't tell you, and you won't know, I don't think you'll know, how much you riding with me in those three weeks meant to me. You kept me going with the simplest things. You probably wouldn't have known when I was really struggling and you just chatted or you didn't chat or you checked in with me or you said something funny or, you won't believe the amount of things that you did that day to keep me going and to keep me centered and focused on what I was doing. Those three names that had the asterisk next to them, uh, Rob White, Andy Jill, Stefan Hall and Jimmy Anderson, uh, have got asterisk next to them because they deserve a special mention. Uh, Rob White, my father-in-law, Andy Jill and uh, Stefan Hall rode several stages with me, three or more stages with me, um, and really stepped up to kind of just fill in some of the gaps when I needed an extra body out on the road. So to all of you, thank you, a huge, huge thank you. And Jimmy Anderson um, came all the way down from Newcastle uh, to spend the last couple of days riding with me and doing some training. He's racing in Kona in October. And what an amazingly lovely man he is. Um, I met him through YouTube and he contacted me and he's made a, a, you know, made a huge journey down from Newcastle and spent a lot of time down here and was such a lovely uh, bit of company. And everyone that met him uh, said what a lovely guy he was. And in all honesty, that's kind of been my abiding kind of memory of all the people that I rode with. There wasn't a single person that I rode with where I thought, I really wish I hadn't ridden with you, that I hadn't spent that time on my bike with you. Everybody brought something to the table and you all will be a huge big part of what it is that I managed to, to achieve in those three weeks. Um, and, and I can't say a big enough thank you to you. There, there are so many people to thank, but I think the people that spent, you know, four hours, uh, riding with me and spending that time with me are probably the people that I'll remember the most. And I'm glad I've got videos of the rides to remind me of each and every single one of you that did that with me. Um, so just to sort of wrap this up, I am gonna make a video going into the physiology and the things that I learned from doing this, but that's gonna be a longer video. That's not what this video is about. Um, this is just about wrapping up what we did. So the total in the end, was well over 20, uh, 2,100 kilometers because there were rest days and there was much further distances kind of ridden. Same with the elevation, 21,000 uh, meters of climbing. Um, there were only a couple of punctures along the way, uh, but weirdly enough, both punctures resulted in DNFs for the people that had the puncture. I didn't puncture once, but um, you know there were tubeless issues and there were problems with valve stems and all sorts. Uh, we only had one crash, um, and that was it only involving an individual uh, and it wasn't too bad. It was a, a bit of a bloody, bloody finger and a ripped jersey. Other than that, we got lost a couple of times, but that all adds to the adventure. So the total distances and everything that were ridden and the amount of gels that I consumed and all that kind of stuff, that's sort of incidental numbers really compared to the most important number, which is the amount of money that we've raised for uh, BUS, the Breast Cancer Unit Support Trust at Southmead in Bristol that helped uh, my wife Becky and therefore my family and my me and my kids out massively. And the sum that we managed to raise is just over £17,000. Now, some people uh, have donated £5 and some people have donated thousands of pounds. It doesn't matter how much you donated. If you stepped up and you donated some money, thank you so much. Um, every single one of those pennies will go towards helping people overcome the hardest part of anything that anyone can imagine in their lives, that most dreaded kind of news that you could ever imagine being given. And having that support and having that early diagnosis and therefore rapid treatment is what it's all about. 
So it's been a fantastic adventure. I can't wait to move on to the next adventures. I can't wait to get back to swimming and running. Um, and I can't wait to get back out on my bike again. Uh, I thought I would be sick of the sight of it, but I'm absolutely not. But that draws these videos, these three weeks of videos to a close. And for those of you that have watched the videos and kind of sent me good luck messages and everything else, a huge thank you. And I will see you on next week's video when we start looking at something new and a new challenge. But for now, that's about it.